Today is my mother-in-law's birthday, and I have made her a um, chocolate pecan cake with a chocolate pecan ganache in the middle, which we could do another time. Didn't have time to film that one. So what I'm going to do now is ice it with our chocolate buttercream, which we also have a video of. And then I'm going to make rosettes around it to make it look pretty. So first thing we're going to do is just put our chocolate buttercream all the way around and cover the entire surface so that when, if there's a hole in the rosettes, it's, the cake is already covered and you're not missing any icing. So this is one of the easiest ways, in my opinion, to ice a cake that really looks spectacular. People will think that you spent hours and hours and hours on it, and it really doesn't take that much time. covered. This is what we call dirty icing. It's not a perfect ice, but it is enough just to cover the cake. Scrape away any excess. Because the other thing that this does is get put a lot of icing on the cake. So you don't want to have your base really thick because you're about to add a bunch of icing to the outside. So now we have a pastry bag filled with an open star tip. We're going to fill it with our buttercream. I'm going to start at the top. That's a lot of buttercream right there. So I'm going to start at the top and we're going to do a counterclockwise circle. Start in the middle and just go around the outside of it. So we're going to do that all the way around the cake and on the sides. So I'm done piping the rosettes here, but there's still a small spot that doesn't have icing on it. I'm just going to cover that with a little star, and nobody will even know the difference that it's not a rosette. Now we're just going to look around the cake and see if there's any of those holes and just fill them in. And I am leaving the top of the cake open on purpose. I did not put anything there because I'm going to add some pecans. And I'm doing that for two reasons. The first is that my mother-in-law loves pecans. And the second is if somebody else is eating the cake, I want them to know there's pecans in it in case there's a nut allergy. They'll see that right away. 
So we finished the rosettes, and now all I'm going to do is take some pecan pieces and sprinkle them over the top so that we are aware that this is a pecan cake. You don't want anybody with a nut allergy to start try your cake and then find out they can't really eat it.